in thinking about what happened to Mars, we can do some comparative planetology. Mars was once wet uh, and warm, and then it wasn't. Why did that happen? When we study that, we are learning more things about Earth. And it was the contention of, of Lovelock and Margulis that Earth being a watery planet was a result of its living biological community creating chemical conditions that allow water not to be dispersed off into space. Mm -hmm. And so more and more we're understanding that this planet is a biological active community that can be thrown off of its balance there have been times in Earth's history where it was an ice ball. Every All the water on this planet was frozen. There's other times where there's been no ice at all on the planet. All the water was liquid or gaseous. So um, there is variability within ordinary Earth systems. And now we've done an enormously a disruptive thing by pouring CO2 into the atmosphere faster than it ever has happened by natural events. We're in a, an experiment of our own making by accident. So um, when we talk about the other planets, it's not completely irrelevant because we're on a planet. So we use space science as a kind of an Earth science. And I mm -hmm. still believe in it for that. Mm -hmm. But for everything else, these dreams of escape or these dreams of colonization, they are at this point irrelevant to human history. And they, they probably will be for literally hundreds of years.